my channel if you are new here please go down below and subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me i do lots of hauls over here challenges makeup videos some baking and some vlogs here and there so today's video i wanted to just test out the nail set that i picked up from home bargains a few weeks ago you get 100 nails the own glue and a nail file in here so but 199 that is a brilliant bargain so yeah let's get into the video of me testing them out so i start off by showing you the tools you'll need nail varnish remover cotton pads a cuticle pusher a nail buffer and some nail files for the first step i just use the cotton pads and the nail varnish remover just to remove any old residue nail glue or varnish left on my nails so i like to start off with my right hand first so i use the cuticle pusher to push down my cuticles on each of my fingers So the next stage is to use the nail buffer to just buff down gently on each of the nail. This will ensure that the glue will stick fully to the nails. I now take a normal nail file and just file down each of the nails. So that is my right hand fully prepped ready to do my nails. So now I go on to my left hand and do exactly the same again. So push down the cuticles with the cuticle pusher, nail buff and nail file. So now it's time to actually open the box and experiment and have a look at what's inside, have a look at the glue and the file. I do have my own glue and file, so I might use them as well. And these are all the nails that you get in this pack. You get 100 nails. So now I'm going to just try on each nail and see what fits and put them all in size order for each hand on the desk ready. So here goes the fun and tricky part. So I'm going to use the savers glue and just dab a little bit on each nail and put the correct fitting nail on each finger. When I put the nail on the finger bed, I do hold it in place for a while to let the glue dry. And I do my four fingers first and always do the thumb last. So that is the right hand done. All the nails are in place. I'm now going to put a little bit of glue on each nail on my left hand and place the nails onto the nail beds. As you can see, I always find doing my left hand really tricky because my right hand has already got the fake nails on. So it can be quite fiddly, but just stick around with it and don't put so much glue on um, because then you have a little bit more control before it dries. So all the nails are securely stuck to my nail beds. I just take a nail file and just file around the edges of the nails just to get a better shape. And sometimes there's some little bits of plastic stuck to the nails. So both hands are filed down and it's now time to get my nail polish out. This is the Jelly High Shine from Barry M. It was free when I bought two lip glosses and I just thought I would give it a try. I give each nail a good coat and then I let that dry and then go in with a second coat. And then I go on with a clear nail polish and that is just from Poundland. So this is my final left hand, which is always the most difficult to do, to be honest. And I think generally it's okay. There is a few little smudges, um, but I really like them actually. And for one ninety nine, I think the nails were amazing. And this is the first time using a Barry M nail polish. And I think it's really good. And I think the colour is brilliant for the spring and summer. So it's been two days now since I did my nails and... They do look really good. I'm really happy with them. However, this one has come off once and I've reapplied it with glue. Absolutely fine. Um, the glue seems to hold really well. This one snapped in half, so I've just filed it down and that's absolutely fine as well. They aren't obviously brilliant due to my application. Compared to the Primark ones, um, these are a lot better because I had to cut and file them down and change the colours because I wasn't happy with them but also for the first day and night I struggled with paint so badly not that they pushed too far down it was like it was constricting my nails they were too tight if that makes sense 
but these have been absolutely fine i've got a little bit of paint from this one here but i think it's just getting used to the nails again um these aren't very long at all i gave them a little bit of a buff round with a nail file but nothing compared to the ones that i had to do from the primark ones and i just can't get over the price 1.99 so i'm actually going to go back soon and get one for my mum for mother's day and one for my sister because my sister loves wearing fake nails and i just think it's so brilliant because i could take this nail varnish off and just reapply with my own nails so yeah i don't think i could get bored with these so all in all i am really happy with that purchase thank you so much guys for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and stick around for more videos Bye.